Hi, second grade. Today, I want to invite you and welcome you to a little bit of a party in music. An important ingredient for a good party is for everyone to take turns. And something that's important in music as well. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about a note that is longer than any other we have learned about so far. So if we look at this page, it also welcomes you to a party. It says, welcome to a party. What ways are people taking turns in this party? So let's see. We have children that are taking turns throwing a ball. Looks like children taking turns with a pinata. Children taking turns playing darts. A couple children over here taking turns talking to each other. Remember, having a conversation, you take turns too. Whoop. As well as, look, they played pin the tail on the donkey already. Looks like they had to take turns for that game too. So we're going <clears> to <throat> learn about a song. And this song, as we listen, before we listen, what you're going to do is I want you to look at this and determine what meter this song is in. Now, remember, a meter is found at the beginning. Meter signature is found at the beginning of a song. And usually it's a number over another number. It looks kind of like a fraction, but it's not a fraction. Because remember, there's not a line going between them. So, and it's always at the beginning. So on this song, we're going to find it right here. And the number that we see there is a three, and it's over what kind of a note? A quarter note. That means that there are three beats in each measure, and that the quarter note gets a beat. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the song, and I want you to tap to each and every beat as you listen. Each and every beat. again and this time what I want you to do is you're going to tap on the strong beat you remember when we did that it's tapping on the first beat of every measure so it's gonna go like hello hello there hi pleased to meet you it's a pleasure and a privilege glad to know you how are you hello let's do that together
good job. Now what I want you to do, we're going to sing along with the song, and I want you to decide whether you're going to tap with each and every beat or you're going to tap to the strong beat. You're going to get to pick while you sing along. meter which is what we just talked about at the beginning before we listen to this song this song had a three over a quarter note which means there were three beats in a measure and that the quarter note gets the beat that's three four meter so how long would a measure last in three four meter that's right three beats so we're going to show this by clapping on the strong beat and then we're going to do a circle pattern like this on the other two beats in that measure. So we're gonna go clap, 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 clap. Can you practice that with me? Good job. Now we're gonna do that with the song. So it's gonna go, hello, hello there. Hi, pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure and a privilege. Glad to know you. How are you? Hello. It's going to go a little faster than when we first practiced. Here we go with the song. of music that involves two instruments, the oboe and the violin. Now, the oboe and the violin are two different instruments, and in this song, they're going to take turns playing back and forth, almost like them having a conversation. When you have a conversation with somebody, do you both talk at the same time? No, because otherwise you wouldn't understand what each other's saying. So, it's just like that. The oboe and the violin are almost going to have a conversation, but to be able to tell the difference between the two instruments, we're going to hear what each of those instruments sounds like by itself. So let's listen to those 
instruments. First, the violin. Violin. Was the violin and next we have the oboe. Oboe. So hopefully you heard the difference between the two instruments. And now we're going to listen to a piece of music called Adagio. And in this song, you are going to hear the two instruments playing back and forth, almost like having a conversation. And I want you to show that you hear the difference by every time you hear the oboe, you're going to tap along with what the oboe is playing. You're going to tap the rhythm that the oboe is playing in your hand. Mm Now, we're going to listen to another song. This one comes from Mexico. And I want you to rate, to touch your head. That's what we're going to do. You're going to touch your head whenever you hear sounds that last three beats. Okay? You're going to touch your head whenever you hear sounds that last three beats.
So when you listened, you should have been putting your hand on your head when you heard, Dance now, my chapanica. Dance with grace and enchantment. Dance now with the moon shining bright. Dance now, my chapanica. Dance with grace and enchantment. Dance now. Sorry. Dance, my gentle one. You will soon be the queen of the dance. So, <clears throat> once again, we're going to look at this music. This is a different song. It's the one you just listened to. And you are going to try and figure out what the meter is for this song. Remember, we find it at the very beginning of the song. It's usually a number over a, another number. In this case, it's a number over a note. And you should find it right here. And our number, once again, is a three, which means we have how many beats in a measure? Three. And what kind of a note gets the beat? What kind of a note is this? It's a quarter note. So the quarter note gets the beat. Now, if we look at this, it says sounds lasting three beats, which is what you were just listening for, are shown with a dotted half note. The dot adds one beat to the half note. So whenever we have a dot added to a note, the dot is worth half of the note that comes before it. So in this case, a half note is worth how many beats? Two. That means half of two is one. So we have two beats with the half note. The dot is worth one beat. Two plus one equals three. So our dotted half note is worth three beats. And we're going to try to find all of the dotted half notes in this song. Let's see if we can find them. So remember, here they go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's even one here. Seven, eight, nine of them total. There are nine dotted half notes in this song. So now, <clears throat> what I want you to do, we're going to listen to the song again. And this time, I want you to move your arms like this when you hear the dotted half notes. and girls, we're going to listen to the Spanish pronunciation, and I want you to do your best 
and repeat after him. Hello, my name is Lalo Davila, and my family is from Mexico. I'm going to teach you the words for a song I learned when I was a child, Chapanecas. Let's begin. Cuando la noche llegó. Cuando la noche llegó. Y con su manto de azul. Y con su manto de azul. El blanco rancho cubrió. El blanco rancho cubrió. Alegre el baile empezó. Alegre el baile empezó. Baila mi chapaneca. Baila mi chapaneca. Baila, baila con garbo. Baila. Baila suave rayo de luz. Baila suave rayo de luz. Baila mi chapaneca. Baila mi chapaneca. Baila, baila con garbo. Baila, baila con garbo. Que en el baile reinar es tú. Que en el baile reinar es tú. Chapaneca gentil. Okay, now boys and girls, we are going to sing through the song. I want you to, you can try to sing it in Spanish, but also sing it in English. And you're going to do the claps and the swaying while you sing. Here we go. the what kind of a note? 
The dotted half note, how many beats does it have? Three. Good, let's do Chepanikas one more time, just like we just did. Do your best.